Hey, Dragon Slayers. Today's video is about what happens if you break your fasting lifestyle and how fasting affects your sleep. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. So the first that is the key principle of fasting is that there is no such thing as a failed fast. If you struggle and fall off, just release any judgment you may have for yourself and hop right back on. Don't carry the guilt with you into the next day. The hardest part of letting yourself down and slipping backwards with your fasting goals is forgiving yourself. All fasts help you, so release the guilt. Let it go and start anew the next day. Remember, each time you make an attempt at fasting, it gets easier and easier. Look at it like you're training for a marathon. Each day, you stretch your runs a little longer. You're building yourself stronger for the next workout. If you set out to run eight miles and you only run six miles, you are still in the process of training. Each time you fail at fasting and start again, you move one step closer to building a fasting lifestyle that feels effortless for you. So fasting and sleep. Two questions that Dr. Mindy hears a lot from fasters are why they can't sleep as much as they're used to and why they have pain when they sleep. Some women find they require less sleep when they fast, especially with fasts that are longer than 24 hours. At first, the symptom can feel a little disturbing, but when you break down what happens to you when you sleep and when you fast, you will see that they are both healing states. Your body repairs when you sleep. This is the main part of your 24 hour cycle that it does this. When you add fasting into that 24 hour cycle, you are repairing as well. Your body might decide it needs less sleep. This tends to happen with a longer fast, like a three day water fast. There is not much to do about this symptom, except to honor that it's happening and perhaps even take advantage of it. If you wake up earlier in the morning, try journaling, meditating, or reading a book. So much insight happens when we fast. Use those early morning hours to fuel your spiritual practice. The other common sleep symptom that Dr. Mindy sees with fasters is aches and pains showing up at night typically on three-day water fast. Women often complain of pelvic and lower back pain. Because of the stem cell production that happens during longer fasts, your body may be repairing scar tissue that was damaged from carrying and delivering babies. Women don't often think of the residual physical effects of pregnancy, but your bodies do and those stem cells go to areas that need the most repair. There are a few tricks to help ease the pain. One is to increase your magnesium before you go to bed to relax your muscles. It also will help you sleep more soundly. Two is to try CBD in either a lotion or over the pain areas as a tincture. There is great scientific evidence that CBD can turn off pain receptors and it's natural with no side effects. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.